happy Friday. I am so excited for this weekend. Today has been a very busy but productive day in clinic. I sectioned a bridge in the morning and assisted with some extractions and then I also had a perio consult, a pros consult, and did some treatment planning and finished up some lab work. It's been a good Friday and now I am headed to one of our biggest socials of the year. It's with the D1 class through the D4 class. My leadership team and I are planning it this year so we're gonna go early, help set up, and just make sure everything's in order. So it should be really fun meeting everyone in person and to get to know the incoming D1s and even the D2s because I really haven't met a lot of them. Looking forward to tonight. And yes, it is possible to have a social life in dental school. Work hard, play hard. <laughs> Monday. We are starting this week off with a good old photo shoot. Our class is having our official clinical transition ceremony later this week, so we thought we would take our official pictures today and we are whipping out the white coats today to look extra professional and I can't wait to see how the pictures turn out. So let's go! And just like that, my day is pretty much over. We took pictures for about an hour and a half or whatever we could manage given the heat and all the mosquitoes that were flying around and biting us. But yeah, a couple of my friends and I went to grab sushi afterwards and now I'm here. So this is the part of the night where I will prepare for all of my patients tomorrow. So I will look at their chart, I will look at their patient history, what we're doing, I will go over um, any significant medical history and medications that I need to know about, and I will make sure to review their x-rays as well. I'll usually kind of take notes beforehand so that when I go in tomorrow morning I'll kind of just already have it in place and then I can just edit. But it just makes my day go by a lot faster not really having to worry about learning everything about the patient on the spot so it's always good to be prepared and it's kind of helped speed things up a little bit in clinic because I already have a lot of other things that I need to worry about or things that might slow me down in clinic so yeah if I can kind of get that out of the way then it makes my day go by a little bit more smoothly so uh, yeah I'm just gonna work on that for a bit and then I will be in perio tomorrow to do a couple of extractions and I think we're also doing a bone graft and membrane and then in the afternoon I have a treatment planning presentation so I kind of need to go over my patient's treatment plan just so I know what her options are double check that I'm not missing anything clinic definitely makes the week go by a lot faster but my days are long and busy. I will see you manana. Let's catch up, shall we? <laughs> it is finally Friday and it has been a very eventful and challenging week but also lots of learning and growth and I'm really happy about it. I did my second restoration this week. I did some screenings today. I also got to do some comprehensive exams throughout the week and just kind of assisted here and there. We also had our clinical transition ceremony so that is kind of our little official celebration from when we transition from sim over to clinic and I love being in clinic. It's so much more exciting to interact with real people and there's always something new to look forward to. I will say that this past week has also been challenging because it has really been testing my patient management skills. For the most part, I have been really lucky with my patients. Everyone has been super nice and super understanding 
and because it is a school setting everything kind of just naturally takes longer but there are patients that you know might come in unhappy or angry or upset which is completely normal and I think that is just kind of something that you have to learn to deal with and manage and talk through and I mean, it's something that we're going to have to deal with in the real world. So I think it is really good practice, but it is kind of intimidating and can be overwhelming at first. Um, aside from that, I've had a lot of practice with my Spanish. I feel like there's moments where I kind of just blank on words and in the moment I kind of just freeze. So that is one skill I definitely want to continue working on. There is like a huge PDF online that has a bunch of dental terms in Spanish. So I'll probably just keep reviewing that and continue practicing phrases and sentences so it becomes more natural for me when I'm interacting with our Spanish speaking patients. So that is basically the end of my week and I'm going home this weekend to celebrate my friend's white coat and birthday. So I am always excited to go home because I get to see all my loved ones and my dog. Random side note, last week I met a new friend and if you're watching this, you know who you are. She introduced me to her new hobby of beading and combined with my obsession that I talked about previously with crystals. Now I have developed this newfound obsession with crystal jewelry and given that it is my friend's white coat ceremony this weekend as well as her birthday and I also have another friend who is moving away to the east coast to start a new grad school program. I figured I would take this opportunity to try my hand at making some jewelry and now I want to show you because they're so pretty. Here it is. It is a small little crystal druzy and with purple which it looks like amethyst and I bought these gold filled chains as well as these gold jump rings and a lobster claw and this one is for my other friend. I just think they're so cute and dainty and I just wanted to show it off because now I really want to start making more crystal jewelry because you can never be sure of crystals and good vibes. To make it extra official I bought some boxes so I could package my little handmade crafts. There we have it! Ah so cute! I just had to share that because Things like this get me really excited, as you can tell. Um, I'm going to finish up packing, and I will see you back at home. vlogging schedule has been quite inconsistent but I wanted to show you my kombucha. I decided to start back up on it again and here's my mother and she's looking really healthy. No mold this time. I'm going to do my second fermentation. I'm going to do strawberry basil and I have some frozen strawberries in the freezer and then I'm also going to do a mango pineapple. I have some frozen mango chunks and mango juice and pineapple juice. finally got my Invisalign on. I just had my ortho appointment after months of waiting, but my attachments are on. We did some IPR. I have some of my trays in here. So yeah.
has been a while. I just wanted to pop in and say hi. <laughs> I think my original goal at the beginning of this year to upload every week was a little bit over ambitious considering how much I'm actually allowed to film and how busy I've been with clinic and my MPH. So I think at most I will probably be uploading once a month, if that. But either way, I hope you all have an amazing week and thanks for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.